What do these players allege happened to them during their career? These players allege that throughout the course of their career, they were subjected to racial vilification, both uh, verbally and in physical acts of violence. Uh, and they allege that this um, these acts had lifelong impacts on them and that the AFL just simply didn't do enough to protect them. Mm. And so the argument that you're prosecuting effectively is that this then caused other issues throughout their life wasn't just something confined to their career in the sport. Absolutely. Our claim alleges that the impact of this racial vilification had lifelong consequences. They um, suffered significant pain and suffering um, and that this remains with them to date. Mm. So can you name the players who are involved in this action? Certainly I can name our lead plaintiff, Phil Krakow, but um, one of the most important aspects for many of the players is up until now there has been this culture of silence um, and they haven't felt comfortable to come forward. So we now have a cohort of players that have come to us in confidence um, mm. and we it's of utmost importance that we protect these players and give further players the confidence to know that they will also be treated with this confidentiality and sensitivity. The AFL has taken some steps to address racism, but you say in this case that sorry doesn't cut it. Is your argument essentially that uh, the league at the time should have known this was wrong, should have known this was happening and should have been able to stop it in some way? Absolutely. In 1975, the Racial Discrimination Act was enacted um, and over time, um, society has increasingly rejected racism. Uh, the AFL has not kept up with societal standards. And even though in recent times there have been more significant steps towards um, recognition um, that racism has accepted, uh, ex existed in the AFL and steps to prevent it. It really, um, the AFL has really failed in enforcing the policies and this is where they have failed, fallen down. It's not enacting policies, it's the enforcement of those policies. You're representing seven players at the moment, but uh, there have been many Indigenous AFL players over the years, and I can think of quite a number off the top of my head who have spoken out about racism in the past. Is it your hope that more people will join this action? Absolutely. Our claim theoretically covers all Aboriginal, Torres Strait Islander and people of colour who have been subjected to racial vilification uh, while um, at working for or being agents of the AFL. Um, so certainly we think there are many, many more people out there who have claims. And uh, just finally, Michelle, uh, what do the players you're representing hope to get out of this case? The first thing that these players hope for is, is that there will be true recognition of the harm that they suffered in the past so that we can better the future. Without that true acknowledgement and recognition, it, it's unable, we, we say that it's impossible to truly move forward in a better manner. Um, but in addition to that, this claim seeks compensation because these players have so seriously been injured and have suffered. So we seek to remedy that injury.